you know, there there's a duty when you are gay, like there's like, a what? There's a duty. That's right. When you are gay led, gay or trans led, just like this show, we're two fags sitting up here. We're what? We're two fags sitting here <laughs> with an adjacent fag. <laughs> That's a straight fag. Mo is fag adjacent. He's fag. He's a straight fag. Uh huh. So we have we're sitting here <sighs> and we talk. We're we're we're, we're messy. We're shady. Mm -hmm. You know, but we also. In the space, we still open the door for learning tools. We hold the door. We open. hold the door open for learning tools. We also have deep discussions based around our community that mm -hmm. because we know that we have heterosexual people that watch. We know the responsibility that's on our back. We have tons of heterosexual people that wa that watch us, and we also have infiltrated mainstream media. Yes, we have. And so because of that, we make sure that you know. We, there's there's a balance. Now I'm still gonna read a bitch and tell a bitch to suck my motherfucking ass, eat my pussy, suck my dick, all that when I want to. Uh -huh. But I'm also gonna turn around and I'm also gonna talk about the way because before before we get deep into the to the real gossip, the way that black people tip. Let's do oh, that. Oh, let's get into that. Let's start that off the top. Come on. Yeah, on. we only we don't have to have the Torre one. Just put the okay. one with the guy from TikTok. Come on, let's go. All right, Hold we're gonna on. educate. We, just, yeah, and just like we read we need read niggas. We read right. So white folks, you can take a seat right now because we're now onto the black people. Go ahead, run I it. I saw this post about black people not tipping, and as a black male who served tables for three years, I can honestly say that that post is not a lie, bro. <laughs> black people don't tip, bro. Like, I when I started off, I tried to give everybody the same service and take care of people the same way and expect the same thing from everybody, regardless of race. Just because I'm, I'm like, bro, I don't know. I can't judge somebody off a of first glance. But after constantly not getting tipped after giving great service, and I know everybody think they gave great service. I used to give great service when I was, I was an amazing server. And after constantly giving great service and getting stiffed every single time from black people, I'm not gonna lie just because I'm black and say black people tip. One time I had a party of 31 and got $8 that I served by myself. I got $8 out of that table. From then on, bro, that showed me black people don't tip. And it's because most black people don't grow up with people around them who tip. I didn't see my parents tip ever. I didn't learn about tipping until I started serving. So that's just that's just what it is, bro. You can't deny, you can't hate on it. That's just the facts, bro. Most of the time, black people do not tip, especially if you're another black person. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you serve tables or have served tables before, let me know in the comments. Okay, this is the way I feel. For me, when I walk into a restaurant, it all depends on the caliber of restaurant I'm walking in. When I'm walking to Applebee's, the, my tip already... You, you eat at Applebee's? At times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl. In the words of Whitney Houston, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, go I, ahead. When I, what, what's the word with Applebee's? Right. So... <laughs> <laughs> what's the word with Right. They got some they got some good food there. Ah, they got the two for ten or whatever it is Excuse over there. Me, Craig, have you sent him his money for the milkshake yet? <laughs> no, I never got that. I never got that. I never got I that. I need to make sure you don't vote for that nigga you. but before I buy your milkshake. Please. Please. I need to I need to make sure you don't vote for Trump before I buy your milkshake. <laughs> but go ahead. So here's the thing for me. When I walk in this when I walk into the organization, especially if it's if it's uh, Applebee's, I start at twenty at at uh, what starts at 20? Your tip? The tip starts at 20. Okay. Because that's just the base tip that I'm going to leave, $20. Mm -hmm. At When I'm going to Cheesecake Factory, $40. 40 or $50. That's mm -hmm. how it starts. When I'm going to higher end, I tip $75, $100. First of all, I'm T.S. Madison. Let's be clear. I scream all the time. I'm rich. Uh-huh. I am. And so because of these... And so are you, Craig. No, no I'm not. Don't do that. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I actually need to borrow a couple dollars to be through. I actually do. That is the story. <laughs> so I start in these places. And so when I start in those situations, the thing for me is I, I let you, your customer service and the way you skill and the way you handle bring you down. Because, mm -hmm. bitch, I'm going to start at 20 in Applebee's and Chili's. You gonna, I'm going to start at 20. Mm -hmm. Start there. You know, like when we when we're out in LA and at Joy's, I may give like a, a hundred dollar tip, one hundred twenty five dollar tip or something. I mm -hmm. may tip my my waitress. I may tip the the person that se seats me. You know, I may do these things because. And see, girl, you done did all this tipping. You tipping tipping the people that seat you, bitch. You ain't even sat down to eat yet. But here's the thing: when I show up, listen, you've 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 <laughs> you've been spaces with me. Do we wait? No, we don't. Go ahead. Correct. <laughs> Again. 
Mo, you've been places with me. Do we wait? No. Correct. Even when we get to the airport, do we wait? No. We do not. And that's because you have to understand when you're dealing with, with people that are in the customer service industry and you are a customer and they're providing you service, you have to show your appreciation, especially, I don't give a fuck how famous I am or how infamous I am for anything, whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I may slide a 20, a 10, I keep something in my, oh, what's your cash yet? Or something, because mm -hmm. when, when I show up again, bitch, it could be, it could, the lag could be this long. When you see the TS, uh, excuse me, y'all. Uh -huh. And y'all trying to figure out why she's busting through. It's not because <laughs> I'm T.S. Madison. It's because I've dropped the motherfuckers and change in their purse over and over and time and time again. You understand what I'm saying? You have to set yourself up for when you come back to these places that you get immaculate service. Uh-huh. Yeah. Am, am, I, am I saying anything <laughs> yeah, yeah, No, you're not. Okay. And so for me, that's just the way I move. That's the way I operate. God has blessed me. God does not bless you with money or bless you with things for you just to, to harbor it and hold it like this. God blesses you so that you can give. And so I'm not going to give to everybody. However, I give based upon your service. I, now, my base is $20. That's my base. It's $20. It can either go up or down from there. It could go up or down, but you will get 20, <clears throat> but it could go up or down. Now, go ahead, Craig. Okay, so here's my thing. Y'all already know when it's a to-go order, I'm not tipping. All you did was put the shit in the bag. I'm not tipping you. Now, if you're really nice, I am going to tip you if it's a to-go order. Now, when I go somewhere and I sit down to eat, I am going to tip. And I tip 20% of whatever the bill is. Now, if you're not that great, but you still gave great service, you're going to get down to 15 $20, Myrtle. That's yeah, for me. Yeah, but, but what if the bill is, let's see, $300? You leaving 20 Well, if I'm going to a place and the bill is, it, 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 all, it all depends on that place. Well, see, my thing is... Like, I'm, if I'm, like when, we, when we went out to eat at, where, where did we went for Miss Mary's birthday, her 59th birthday, we went to... Um, I can't remember the name. It of that was. Place. Uh, I just know it was downtown. I just know it was there. Del Frisco's. Del Frisco's. Yes. yes. I, of course, yes. our bill is going to come out to fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. Now, I, how much you going to leave? I, of course, I'm going to leave about three. Uh -huh. About three hundred dollars. <laughs> right. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm a twenty percent kind of guy. Now, if your service is bad, then you might get fifteen. You might get ten. But my thing is this, and when we're and, and we're black people, we tip. We know that some of you tip, we're talking about overall, the guy in that video is talking about generally speaking. Generally speaking, black people don't tip, and you know who else don't tip? Old white people. They're gonna leave you a dollar or two. I worked at well, Shoney's. Well, that's, they, that's, what, that's what the children are used to give. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. They, they're, they're from a different generation, they might be slightly racist, but also, you know, it's just like, you gotta think about it. When you go to a restaurant, black folks gonna work the shit out of a server. First of all, you're gonna run them back and forth. I don't like going to eat with people like that. You're not going to run the server back and forth. I don't need them spitting in my shit because you done ran them back for napkins and ketchup and sweet tea and you need a little more ice. Bitch, consolidate the trips. Ask him for everything you need when he come the first time. That, that's correct. But Craig, this is why I do the things that I do. I make sure that I, I tip well. I call ahead. I tip uh -huh. The party is this. You know, or whatever. Like, what, like Craig, come on. When we go out to eat, when we show up to the motherfucking place, those, yeah. people, those people be excited. Because yeah. they know that their tip is either going to start at 50. If it's a nice right. restaurant, it's going to start at 50. Right. And it can go up. Correct. If it's Applebee's, it's going to start at 20. It can go up or down. Yeah. So what do you what do you do about the, the restaurants that already add the group to? Well, then you just get that. Yeah, If the it. tip is built now, if you, in. If you a motherfucking restaurant, see, this is how you fuck up your blessing. Yeah. Because if you already not added your tip in and I feel some type of way about you, that's all you got. No, bitch, you better keep your receipt, too, because I don't throw my receipt away until I see that shit hit my bank account. You are definitely glad it's his daughter because it's bad for <laughs> This motherfucker, this is when Justin's restaurant was still open. Puffy <laughs> had that restaurant over there in Peachtree. Oh, remember that? Bitch, that server tried to go in and give himself an additional tip. And I had looked at my receipt. Oh, I, I don't worry about it because I usually pay with my American Express. <laughs> Y'all know, know I tell my American Express stories like a motherfucker. Listen. I'll tip with my, I used to play with my American Express. You see my American Express come out, know that you have better, you had better done me right. Correct. And you had better done me well. Because I'm definitely over there like, oh. <laughs> and there's why a lot of people don't play with American Express because American Express. Is, they will pull that shit back. They are truly. 
for the consumer. For their consumer. They are truly about the consumer, bitch. They don't play. And so I held on to that receipt, and I called up there the next day. I said, um, this is not what I left that server. I was able to give them the transaction number off my receipt, and they kindly ran me my money back. <laughs> but black folks don't like the tip. And like he said in that video, when you, when you have a black server, some black customers... It's like they want to they want to make you earn your money. They want to run you back and forth. They want to ask a lot. They ain't never satisfied. And I think some of you, some of you are looking for reasons to come down to, to chip away at the tip. Oh, yeah. She took too long to bring my napkins. Yeah. So that here go two dollars off. I'm taking two dollars. Bitch, you ain't playing on tipping no motherfucking way. But Craig, right. this is why I say I start at 20. I start at 20. Uh huh. You're going to get $20 anyway. And see, here's my thing. People saying, "Well, I'm too, I'm too broke to go to, to be tipping." But then stay your ass home and don't eat out. It's, I think it's unfair to be running people back and forth for refills and ice and bringing you napkins and plates and forks and shit if you can't afford to leave a tip. That's a part of the experience. That's it. That's it. That's what you go out to do. You you go and these people come to serve you. You're being served. Right. You know, someone asked in the comment section. We can't see y'all comments way over there, babe. I'm sorry, TikTok. But yeah, y'all gonna have to join both. We can't see y'all comments way over there. But um, we on the comments, someone asked, and I if, if you were watching earlier, you'd hear me say when I'm at the airport, when I'm mm -hmm. in, a, when I'm at a car wash, when I'm in, a, like I always tip. Girl, you tipping everybody. I, now, now some of this tipping shit has gotten out of hand, bitch. <laughs> now when I go to a restaurant, and that, when I say restaurant, I mean that loosely. Salada is one of my places that I like. I go, it's kind of like a chipotle, but it's all vegetables and it's shit. It's all like grass. That. Correct. Okay. So I get my tomatoes, they make it my bowl, da 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 da. They got tips up there for them. Girl, you ain't did nothing but ring up on the cash register. Why well, I got to tip everybody? Some of this tipping shit has gotten out well, of Now, those I give $2 to. Two or three. Maybe a I mean, when you get to the hotel, you got to tip the person to take your bags up. I do that. Correct. Now, that I do. I'm not tipping the people at the front desk. Yeah. When you get to the airport, the people outside taking the bags, they want to tip. Well, I, bitch, well no, why I, do people well, wait? Why Mary, do people? Mary just tip those why people. do people? And I'm not saying I don't. If I have cash, I will tip the people on the curb. But why are they getting the tip? The bitch inside at the counter in the heat and the AC ain't getting no tip. Right. But they I, doing the same thing, putting your bag on that on that belt. Well, you know, there are times that you know, I, I, they, they, these people. See, I can't even do 30 seconds. <laughs> you sure can't because TikTok, really TikTok is here. <laughs> yeah. You really can't. Just know that I tip my peoples at, the, at those counters. Yeah. Just know that I ain't waiting nowhere. I'm not going through all of that. No, I've seen it. Bitch, I've see that black car pull up and they looking in the window. They even see my driver. Uh-huh. Them motherfuckers be fighting to get over there to get that. <laughs> but tips are an American thing. Somebody said in the comments. Because in France, they don't, they don't tip. Well, but they make a living wage. I mean, Craig, you did go over to France and learn a little bit of Francais. Paul and <laughs> Bien sûr. Bien sûr. Bien sûr. Tu parles français? Je parle français aussi. Un petit peu. Un petit peu. Yeah, yeah. 